Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to discuss an email that was sent to me. Now I've had a number of emails from this particular person and this person has asked to remain anonymous for obvious reasons. So I will be showing the emails on the screen as we go, but I will be blurring out the names, email addresses, any pictures and things like that, just to keep this person anonymous because like I said, they want to stay anonymous. They currently work within the banking system and they just wanted to kind of reach out and share what's going on behind closed doors because I've gone into the bank a couple of times now to different banks and even trying to get out as little as £500 has seemed to be a problem. So I've made a few videos. They've done really, really well. I think one of them is just about to hit 100,000 views. So it goes to show how many people are searching this sort of information and how many people are actually concerned about their money being in the bank. Now, I've said it before, I don't want to be one of those channels that's always spreading fear and always posting negative videos. But I think it's very important to share this information because this is something I started off doing to kind of put everyone's mind at ease. Everyone was talking about the banks closing and all the rest of it. And I wanted to walk into a bank, draw some money out so that I could do a positive video and say, look, I understand there's banks closing down in the US and it's having a knock on effect into the UK and everyone's talking about CBDC saying how it's coming in very soon and it's all kind of a big conspiracy to close all the banks so that they can bring in this centralised bank and digital currency quicker. So I wanted to go into a bank, draw out some money. I wanted to draw out £5,000 to start off with. I wanted to draw out a big amount. So I could come onto camera, show all the money on, on camera and say, look, everyone stop panicking. Your money's protected. It's in the bank. It's safe. Ignore these kind of fear videos and all the rest of it. But it just didn't end up going that way. I ended up going into the banks and they were actually telling me that I couldn't draw as little as £500 out. They were telling me the only way I could get hold of my money was to go to a cash machine or to pre-order and book it in and wait up to 48 hours for it to be into the bank. Now, after I've done those videos, I've had a number of people reach out with their thoughts on it. They've left video, they've left um, comments in the comments. They've also sent me separate emails discussing their thoughts. Now, this email in particular I wanted to share because it's actually someone that works, like I said, behind closed doors in the banking system. And I've got a number of different emails they've sent me. I'm not going to put them all in this video because it would be nice to break it up because otherwise it's a lot of information to, to take in in one video. So let's start off by the, the first email that I sent. And like I said, I'm going to have to blur out certain bits and pieces because the person does want to remain anonymous, which is perfectly fine. Now, they have got things that back up their claims. I can't confirm 100% that it's legit source because I've never met this person. They contacted me via email. And like I said, it, they do back up their claims. And as you see how the email's worded and everything, you can see that they've got some very good understanding of the banking system. It says, hi, 365. It's, I left a comment on your latest video today about more bank branch closures, but the comment got taken down. Not sure why. So anyway, I wanted to let you know that we knew about these closures in the Bank of England's white paper that came out in March 2020. Here is the link. Now, I'll leave that link in the description if you want to have a look at it. What it basically says is the bank branches will be repackaged and turned into financial technology support branches to assist the public in all matters related to CBDCs, e.g. opening accounts, use of mobile phone apps and problems with accounts, etc. In the intronym, they are setting up what they call bank hubs around the country. Here is the BBC News article about it. So again, I'll leave that link in the description if you want to check it out. You will see more of these bank hubs pop up. At the moment, these hubs support all UK banks, i.e. you will find all major banks in one hub. Just walk in and go to the desk with your bank name on it. Then gradually, these hubs will be the ones supporting CBDCs. So very, very interesting. It looks like not all of these branches that they've announced are closing down completely. They're actually kind of converting them into what they call hubs where you can go. And I'm guessing it's for people that are not too familiar with technology and they kind of struggle downloading apps and things like that. Possibly older generations that haven't had to use banking apps and that till now. It's a place where they can go and it's going to basically teach them how to to use this digital currency. So 
that's really really interesting it says if you're wondering how i know all this i'm an insider in the banking industry but no i'm not a financial advisor neither am i proud to be in banking lol i've been in banking for nearly 30 years now and where we're heading is not good news i'm afraid anyway thanks for your videos they are fun to watch take care so i replied saying hello Thanks for reaching out. Very strange that your comment got taken down. This is very interesting information. Would you mind if I read this email out on a video? I can blur out your name and email address. Kind regards, 365. So then they replied saying, oh, please, could you blur out the bit where I said I'm a banking insider too? Because they don't want this to be general knowledge and I don't want them to know that I leaked it. Yes, it's all on the website for all to see, but they prefer it to be kept secret for us as, from us as long as possible so people don't start taking cash out and buying gold and silver. Then I just basically replied saying, the banker inside would make a great video title though. And they replied saying, yeah, you can call it that, but just don't name me. There is actually a lot more I can say. All of all affects silver and gold, so it would be relevant for your viewers. I don't have a platform, no time really, so I've only been telling my friends and family, even work colleagues, but I'm happy to share with you so that you can use your platform to educate your stacking viewers. In short, silver slash gold is the right way to go. If anyone has doubts, once they hear what the bank slash pensions, etc. are doing, they'd run to metals for sure. So then I replied saying, ah, thanks, I will use that in the title, but I'll be sure not to show your name and email address. Really enjoying reading about all the information you have. It will definitely make an interesting video for the viewers. As you can see, that's the first conversation that we had. Now, you can see that this person doesn't want their information out there. They don't want it to be known that they have leaked this information, even though it is out there on the public forum. And I have got a number of other emails from this same individual going into more detail about what they think is around the corner and what is going on with the bank. So I will make some further videos going through those emails. I don't want to make this video too long, but let me know in the comment section if you're interested to hear what this person has to say. And like I said, I can't guarantee 100% that this is all factual, but from the links and the information, and as you see the other videos, when I, when I show you those in future videos, you'll see that they do know a hell of a lot about the banking system. And they have got a lot of kind of facts and website links and different bits of information to back up what they're saying so in my eyes it is a genuine source obviously you have to make your own opinion but let me know what you think about this in the comment section below and like i said subscribe if you want to see more and i'll be releasing the next video in a couple of days which really goes into more information about what the banks are doing behind closed doors so as always thanks for all the support thanks very much for watching my videos we've just hit 3120 subscribers so insane growth we still keep growing by over 100 subscribers a day at the moment so thanks for all the new people that have recently joined the channel i really really appreciate all the support and as always i hope you have a nice day